In this video tutorial we will look at the code you need to add in order to use MindFusion Diagramming Library for React. We will set some props for the diagram and handle an event. We will use npm to install the Niagram Viewer for React component. If you look inside its installation folder, you will see that there are three subfolders. Common, Diagramming, and React. We will need them all. Then we use Create React App to make a new React App. Our app is ready, and we change to its folder. Let's open the package JSON file for the new application. We will add there a dependency to the diagram library for React. The current version is 1.0.0 beta. We also copy all folders from the diagramming library to the node modules folder of our new app. We create a new JavaScript file, which we name first diagram and save it in the SRC folder. In it we add references to React and component classes from the React module and the diagramming namespace and diagram view class from the respective MindFusion modules. Then we create the first diagram class and there we create an instance of diagram. In state we keep a reference to this instance through a diagram field. In the return method we just return a diagram view tag whose diagram attribute is bound to the diagram we keep in state. Of course, we add export default and the name of our class at the end. Let's edit the index.js file and make it load our first diagram class. We run the application with npm start. Here it is. We can now start drawing flowcharts because the blank page is actually taken by the diagram control and you can start drawing on it. Now we use the diagram factory class to create a new node, which will render when the first diagram component loads. We set text to the node and its brush. Here it is. Now let's use the props field to set some properties to the diagram. We change its back brush to light gray.
we can add a grid to the background with the Show Grid property. Another way to set the properties of the diagram is directly in the Diagram View tag as its properties. So we set here Show Grid and here is the grid. We set a back brush and the background changes. Let's get back to the code with the props as array and add one more property, Behavior. This property specifies how the diagram responds to user actions. We set it to Draw Tables. If you wonder where to look for those properties, they are listed in the online reference for the diagramming library. As you can see, now dragging with the mouse creates tables. The last thing we will do is to handle an event. Let's say we want a link to be created automatically between the pink node and any new node that gets created. We will handle the Node Created event. You can find out more about the Node Created event in the documentation. Here we see that the event data has the getNode method that gives us the newly created node. We will use it. We use the Diagram Factory to create a link between the root node and the newly created node. We need to add the root node to the state property so we can access it in the Event Handler. Then we add the code that wires the Event Handler with the event in the Diagram View tag. Now if we run the application, you can see that links get created automatically each time a new node is created. And that's the end of this tutorial. You can find links to download the sample as well as to the diagram libraries on NPM in the video description. Thank you for watching and thank you for your interest in MindFusion Developer Tools.